bridge, but I decided to ignore them and talk yeah. to the smith. Do you hmm. remember this dagger? Haben wir denn da einen Dolch aus meiner Schmiede? Ja, ganz bestimmt. Ich ich hätte nie gedacht, ihn noch mal wiederzusehen. Nun, aber jetzt hätte ich ihn natürlich gerne zurück. Was haltet ihr von? Wenn ihr mir also den Dolch zurückgebt, dann schenke ich euch einen anderen aus meiner Schmiede, und zwar einen, mit dem man ausgezeichnet. Nun, es war folgendermaßen damals. Ich weiß, zu der Zeit lagerten einige Söldner vor der Burg. Das Kind war mit ihnen gekommen. Nun, ihr wisst schon, das war, als sich Taranor gerade von Barat ganz besonders schlimm war es am Totenpass, nicht weit weg von hier. Dieses kleine Dorf dort, Ledur, kann ein hm. Lied davon singen. Komplett niedergebrannt haben sie. Den Rest kennt ihr ja schon. Es hat den Dolch mitgenommen und mir damit ziemliche Scherereien eingebrockt. Nun, lassen wir das. Danke, dass... So, this man told me that there was a small kid that used to sit upon these logs here and watch the smith. And then one day he decided to... Well, apparently... Oh, I have... I need 50 experience in the forging craft, do I not? And I would need some more coal. Hmm. Yeah. I wondered if this man could sell me some coal, because that would be optimal. An iron longsword? No, I was not looking for any of that, really. Ah, he could indeed sell me coal. At a decently fair price, however, I decided to haggle with him. Let's see if I could... Get myself a better deal. And indeed I was able to. So now with my coal purchased, I decided to... Hmm. However, I did not have enough coal to do any more than one ingot. There was a horse breeder in this town as well as a royal palace. There seemed to be nothing else for me to do except to poke into their kitchens and the guard quarters. Not something that I particularly wanted to do, or had any intention of doing, really. I looked down from the walls and saw the pitiful little farmland below where I had just been. As well as an opportunity to get out onto the roof, but I decided not to take it, for my feet could fail me at any moment, and then things would be slippery. I inquired as to how much a yeah, horse would cost from this Lippie. random woman. Wie fein! Da könnt ihr aber von Glück reden, dass ich überhaupt noch welche hab. Diese rohen Kerl. Meine Pferdchen sind eh nix für den Krieg. Sind doch alles Zuchtpferd. So, this woman wants 3,000 gold for a horse. I cannot afford that at the present moment. Perhaps later when I earn more money I will be able to. But for now, I am sad to say I cannot. Oh nein, sprecht mich bloß nicht an. Es gehört nicht zu meinen Gepflogenheiten, mich zum... So, this woman has decided to call me Rabble. Well, we shall see about that, ma'am, once I set you on fire. I decided to ascend these stairs, and by the time I got to the top, I was rather dizzy. The Queen's defenses had done their job. Oh, dear. Oh, over time, I was able to steady myself. And look through the queen's possessions. It seemed like she was not really much of a queen at all. For she did not have much of value. She did have a bath, though. Quite nice. And then I decided to escape from the queen's bedchambers. For clearly, there was not much to do. Perhaps she wasn't even a queen. Maybe she was just a baroness. Hmm. That was indeed another question that I would like to ask her if she were to speak to me. 
or what if she be a governor? Hmm. Indeed, it is questions like this that always make me ponder. I decided to try and talk to the yeah. smith while he was walking away, but he refused to do business with me. So, having nothing better to do, I went into the storeroom and decided to search around some crates. However, all of these crates were quite useless, really. So I decided to make my leave of this town. There's nothing much else for me to do here. I had found out the story of my dagger. And this quest leads me further away from my objective. So instead I decided to take upon the quest of going to the Mage's Sanctum. For which I would of course need to leave this town and go back to Gilead. From where I could make my way to the Arcane Sanctum. So it's going to be a long walk. And I saw... Oh... So it I can only assume be the town on the other side. So I decided to go down the hill. Splintering my kneecaps several times, I managed to take very little of my former self with me. However, I was much closer to the town of Gilead and those giant golden not golden, white marble perhaps even, spires that were on top of it. And it had indeed piqued my interest, and I wondered what those spires were for, who had made them, why are they still there, is anyone maintaining them, do they have any good loot? As luck would have it, I came upon a young black bear. most nearly did me in before rolling quite a ways down the hill. As I had predicted, this blade had indeed increased my combat prowess to unheard of levels. And I was quite content with myself. However, I was not done, for there was a wolf that was going after me. I danced with the creature around a log, for it could not seem to get the basics of running away. However, it had somehow managed to kill me bloody hell. Ugh, I would have to make my journey from the castle yet again. I saw the smith walking past me and decided not to talk to him this time, as well as wait while until I was outside of the walls before healing. Magic being banned, it is not always the best idea to go around to advertising that I know it. This time around, I had managed to get down the hill more or less unscathed. And decided to repeat my previous journey. Only this time I would be ready for whatever it was that would be in my way. Perhaps a bear, or a wolf, or a combination thereof. Ah, oh, I saw the wolf that had caused me so much trouble before, and decided to pay him a nice visit. Ah! Don't 
the wolf was indeed quite a fearsome opponent. Fighting at me with his fierce canines, he had yet again killed me. Dear Lord. This creature was indeed quite tough. It seemed that his damage came somewhere midway between him shaking his head. Perhaps this was a sort of a head shaker wolf. He created a sonic wave with his, I guess, head, really, that would damage me from a great distance. This world was indeed full of strange, strange creatures. found that I could charge this creature for a great deal of damage, which worked out quite nicely in my favor. Next I would need to take care of the bear. Hmm. The bear did not appear to be here this time around, so I gathered some mushrooms and continued onwards towards the town. I found yet another hill covered with mushrooms and could not stop myself from gathering as many of them as I could. However, while doing that, I stumbled upon a boar and a bear all at the same time. The boar proved to be quite an easy opponent, but the bear was much harder, starting to run frantic zigzags around me as if it were playing Doom. Quite a strange creature this bear proved to be. However, I was able to take care of it in due time. 